my face. <laughs> yeah, he's playing possum. <laughs> There's kind of a couple different ways to clean a lobster. And just like that, you should be able to open them right up. We got to eat this before we go out to dinner. All of it. So that makes so much sense. <laughs> My alarm is set to go off in four hours and 25 minutes. I'm waking up at 3.20 in the morning and I'm still editing some video. I'm getting picked up by Randolph and his son Hans and we're gonna drive down here from Key Largo. We will drive down to Summerlin Key and I think we're gonna look for lobster. I think we're gonna try some other kind of fishing, but I'm not sure, so we'll just see what goes on tomorrow. See you bright and early in a few hours. P.S. I am not a morning person. I need coffee, Major. I need a whole truckload of coffee. Ah. Uh. Oh, damn it, Ricky Bobby. It's too damn early. Oh. It's pretty dark, but terrifying to ride. I can just order it right there. Absolutely. Melting the butter. I'm gonna get in so I can at least swim over to you guys and catch the lobsters.
This one's starting to look a little bit better. Shove my hand deep in that hole to get this one. That's a fatty. That's a fat one. should reach in there for <laughs> the biggest one yet. <laughs> Big as my face. I can just 
just swim over there real quick? Or I can take that lobster. <laughs> I just shimmied him all the way up. You can almost see the lobster from up here. We are picking up some chum, and then we are chum gonna for my chum. yeah, chum chum for the chubs, and hopefully we'll catch some yellowtail snapper. I think that's the plan. They don't, right? This is discriminatory against short people. My little girl climbs up. Well. That's, that's a fat chunk of rain. I hope we don't have to go through that. Good. 
Well, well, well. Hey, if you fall in the water, it would make for a great shot. <laughs> Where's the <laughs> There's actually quite a leap. Should I grab that bag out? I was just going to throw stuff on there. All right, toss it on. Okay, well, did you get that one? <laughs> kind of. You lost some change. Jinxed me! <laughs> Spare some change. Oh, <laughs> Come on, we all know that was on purpose. Yes. <laughs> Acting 101, third grade, paid off. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Good Control. He can hold any place. This is so clear. Okay, we can spearfish here, right? Yeah. yeah. So in theory, I could swim down there and pop something. In theory. Theory. How deep are we? 60? Yeah. 60 yeah. on the nose. I can do that. Yellow tails behind in front of the boat. Oh snap. Oh, that was a good hit. There are so many yellowtail just. Oh, we're gonna pick through them. Yeah, gonna have to pick through them. They're they're good size too. Yes, I got a yellowtail. Nice. Where's he at? Oh, look at that yellowtail. Oh. Film? Yeah, I I got him on film. Oh, he's a keeper. No, once you get it to about this height. Woo! Is that two yellow too? Yes, sir. Nice. Another yellow tail on the flopper. Oh, he's a good one. Mm. I'm worried the barracudas. Oh, barracudas on them. No, 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 no. No! Oh, oh no! They got me. Ah, oh, there it goes. That's a yellow tail. Yellow tail! Oh, I'm on. Uh, no, I don't think oh, so. Oh, they're like in a heavy rig, aren't they? It's weird. It feels like a very small fish. Oh, <laughs> strawberry wow. grouper. What? Hey, if you zoom in really close, won't he look huge? Yeah. Right in the cooler? Yes, sir. Strawberry grouper. I'm sending down like the most juicy bait I've ever sent down. <laughs> Mackerel. Oh, mackerel. Oh, bring him in. Oh, shit. This is going to be. Do you need a net? Woo! <laughs> mackerel. Dude, on, on a little freaking. Oh, Pa's hooked up. Oh, snap. Uh, yeah. Another mackerel. I guarantee it. 
Oh yeah, you got a mackerel on there. Oh my gosh, how are they not cutting us off? <laughs> I'm just bleeding my guy out. Oh yeah, he went right into the net. Thank you. That was sweet. The other hook set like yours. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Catch a mackerel on yellowtail hook hooks. Hook I already got the hook out. I'm just bleeding them. Oh. Yeah. No, he's just tangled up in my line. No, he's got you. Oh, he's just got the line wrapped around him. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm trying to help you, buddy. He's a silly looking bird. <laughs> Where exactly is the lure, Hans? In the water. Oh. Yeah, he's just wrapped around the line. <laughs> You're like my kitty cat at home. Yeah. Is he free? Oh, almost. Yeah, I'll just hold him and you do it there, son. Yeah, it's just around. You get it? Yeah! <laughs> One free bird. Ready? All free. Fly! Be free! Free dog! He was, us he'll come back, right? No, he's just gonna come right back into the chum sling. <laughs> Just got dropped off by Randolph, and look. There's that monster that I got. Three other good boys, and we're gonna have ourselves a little feast. Today was a good day. Hi, ah, we got a boat full of big boys, guys. He's still alive too. Look at him go. He's some fatty booba laddies, I mean. I am alien and predator. Yeah, <laughs> uh, he's a good one. I got this guy. I got a bunch more in the fridge, and we're gonna eat good today. Woof. Well, all right, it's time to clean the lobster. And what better way to start than with this big boy here? There's kind of a couple different ways to clean a lobster. 
Some people what they'll do is they'll just break them right down the center and kind of split them open and that way they can grill the entire lobster and then you get all that meat. All of these little knuckles have meat inside of them. When you go to buy lobster at a restaurant, you're mainly just buying the tail. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take the tail off of this lobster. And the way that I do it is, you can kind of see the meat from the tail runs up into the head of the lobster. So I'm gonna take a knife here and kind of just run it along the top to break that break that meat off of there. Now the tail almost wants to fall out at this point and it's not going to require a very strong tug. Just a little twist like that. Twist this way and the whole tail is going to come right out. That's the inside of the lobster head right there. So there's this vein right here. That's the poop vein. So we're gonna wanna pull that poop vein out of the tail. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna just snap this um, antenna off of the lobster. Just like that. So now I have the end of the antenna. We're gonna take the antenna and push it up the anal hole of the lobster tail. Just like that. And then what it does is the antenna hooks the poop vein and pulls it right out. Just like that. And you can grab the poop vein and just tug it right on out of there. All the guts and everything I'm going to end up putting into that white bucket because when you lobster guts is great for hog fish. So what I'm going to do is take all the lobster heads and carcasses after this, I'll run out to the patch reefs here and I'll chum with them and then I'll get the hog fish to the boat. So stay tuned for a hog, hog fish catch and cook. So what we have here is a clean lobster tail ready for cooking. So what about the head? What are we going to do with all this meat in here? These knuckles are just full of meat. I'll go ahead and break them open for you so you can kind of an idea of how this works. Just stick your knife in there, cut it right down, bring it up through the mouth. And just like that, you should be able to open them right up. So this lobster head would be really good for making like a lobster bisque or a lobster broth. Um, you can see all the knuckles in there. If you wanted to, you could boil this guy down and you can pick at all this meat in here. These big knuckles up here, you can take these knuckles pull them off. And you, you see all that meat in there? That's some good meat right there. So these knuckles, both knuckles have a fat chunk of meat in there. You know, these are all things that you can break down and eat. So if you just boil the whole head or grill the whole head, you can kind of sit there and pick all this meat off, which when you, especially when you get a big lobster like this is the way to go. I'll be saving this lobster head because I'm probably going to end up doing that. Here, see these legs? Each leg has a knuckle. So you can really, you can take this knuckle, pull it off. This is kind of like a whole, a big knuckle with all the legs on it. Even these legs have meat inside of them. See, like if you break these knuckles off, see all that meat in there? some good lobster meat right there. 
since I'm boiling the lobster, I'm just going to take all these legs off to expose all that knuckle meat. And I will also be boiling this so I can just pick away at this. This is all meat on here. These crab legs, these are great to eat too. They also make great chum. When you're chumming for hogfish, you just take these legs and you just, um, I don't want to break them now, but you just kind of crush them into many pieces and expose all that leg meat and just chuck them out into the water and let them sink to the bottom. That'll bring the hogfish in from miles away. All right, so out of the head, what I did was those two big knuckles that were on the head, I should have done this on camera, but I basically pulled the head out and there's all this meat that's inside of the head like this. And it came out just like this. So this is the mouth of the lobster and this is all that head meat. So that's another great chunk of meat inside of a lobster. So we'll just cut that right off, pull it off, I mean, and there you go. Another nice piece of lobster out of the head. And uh, that's how you clean a lobster. I got two, three more lobster to clean. And then I'll see you guys in the kitchen. So there's good news and there's bad news. The bad news is I started boiling water about 30 minutes ago in this pot here. And my stove top, as you probably know, is not the best stove top. And I just cannot get the water to boil. The water's pretty hot. but it's just not boiling. Scam likely is calling me. Reject. The good news though is that I got four nice lobster tails and I am in the Florida Keys. I'm gonna drop the lobsters into the water anyways. And it just might take a really long time, but I guess in a way it's like, it'll be like slow cooking them. Kind of like you do with pork or something. You just cook it for longer at a lower temperature. Boiling lobster, everyone loves to cut them in half and put them on the grill. I love to boil lobster, I don't know. Boiled lobster dipped in uh, melted butter, that's just my thing. Clean, simple, it's super tasteful. And I am going to cut the lobster tails in half once they're boiled. So I just straight up drop the tails in just like this. Hold. You'll notice there's a little bit of oil floating on top of the water. I put a little bit of olive oil and salt in this water. I'll close that up. I'm just gonna say 20 minutes, it'll be ready. And that's just a wild guess. But if you look at the meat, it's already turning that nice lobster white color. So it is, it is cooking on some level. Okay, let's prepare some butter. I think half a bar of butter is good. Lump that in here. And we'll microwave that for 25 seconds. Do not use with stove. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, perfect. So this has been boiling for like an hour now. They're not boiling, but cooking for about an hour, so we should be good here. All right, let's grab the big boy. I want the, the big juicy one. Okay, it looks good. Oh, a little piece came off here. Oh boy, mm. oh boy. Okay, how am I gonna cut this with one hand? Babe, we're gonna just crack this bad boy in half. Just run the knife on there and push on down. Boom. Yeah, that is fully cooked. That looks good. All right, and there we have it. The inside of, looks like you can cook lobster on low temperature in water. 
Now I'm going to take this fork and basically just, I don't even need a fork actually. Let me see if I can do this with just one hand. Oh, it's so hot. It's so hot. This is hard to do with one hand. Ah. Alright, basically what I'm going to do is just fork out the meat and put it on a plate. Alright, there we go. So basically I just took the meat out. It comes out like this, but then I chop it up with a knife and, and get it all like this. That way you can just grab these pieces and dip them in butter. So I'm going to chop this up and do the other tails. Mm. You've got to try the lobster. Okay, then. Whatever you say. We got to eat this before we go out to dinner. All of it. So that makes so much sense. <laughs> I didn't even think of it like that. <laughs> All right. So just grab yourself a piece and dip it in the butter. Is that enough? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> You got butter dripping down in your hand. You gonna lick it off? Oh. <laughs> I can lick that off for you. So does it taste like a, just a normal good lobster? So good. So good. <laughs> We're almost done. That didn't take very long. I'm gonna kill that. <laughs> Starving to death. Still going. D -d Dump it. <laughs> You like that butter? <laughs> I would I would say boiled lobster is primo. Everyone grills it, but I like to boil it. Perfect. All right, we're gonna make some lead weights for sword fishing tonight. We're going sword fishing in the morning. All right, so. You might want to stand a little further back because I don't know what's going to happen here. But basically, we took a a white claw and cut the top off. Fucking bugs! Cut the top off of it, and we're just—I got some lead melting here, and I'm just going to ladle the lead into the white claw. 